Hi, my name is Carla and I'm a children's specialist with the St. Paul Public Library. Welcome to Nature Along. Today I'm going to read for you a book called Minnesota's Hidden Alphabet. Do you see what animal is on the front cover? This is an animal we see a lot of in Minnesota. It's got big ears. Yep, that's a rabbit. Minnesota's Hidden Alphabet with pictures by Joe Rossi, text, which are the words, by David La Rochelle, and published by Minnesota Historical Society Press. And can you see a letter on one side there in nature? Can you see it? It's an M for Minnesota, like in the title, Minnesota's Hidden Alphabet. All across this wondrous state, letters A through Z await. Do you see an A on the side? It's part of a tree, it's an uppercase A. You can trace it with your fingers if you want. By a brook beside a hill, let's look for the B. Oh, it's part of a turtle shell. See the big B like that? Camouflaged with cunning skill. Can you guys find a big capital C on that page? Yep, it's right there. You know what it is? It's part of an antler from some creature. Deftly drawn in woody glades. Oh, I see the D right there. Big capital D. It's part of a fungus on a tree. even etched in blowing blades. This is part of some grass. Can you see it? It's a big capital E. Found near bogs and forest floors. Look for an F. Do you see it? It's, this is something called fuzzy lichen, and I can see the big capital F right there. Can you trace it? Right there. Gracing gritty lakeside shores. The letter G, oh, that is tricky. Do you see it? Looks like it's part of a shell. Roop. That looks kind of like a G. Hidden, yes, but still in view. Do you guys know what a lowercase h looks like? See if you can find a lowercase h. That's right, it's right there. These are called bulrushes. I can spy them, you can too. Look for something tall and straight that looks like an eye. Yep, it's a cattail, it just goes zoop. Jaws outstretched outline a J. Wow, it's a bird, it's a pelican, and his mouth is wide open, and it does kind of look like a J right there. Kinks in roots conceal a K. Right over there, the letter K. Looped on leaf stalks. Oh, you guys know what that creature is, don't you? We see a lot of those. It's a caterpillar. Trace it with me. Capital L, right there. Mapped on trees. There's that M we saw at the beginning. Do you remember? Do you remember how to do this M? It's part of a tree. It's part of a Norway pine tree. Notice nature's ABCs. Now that looks like a lowercase n, doesn't it? Do you know how to do a lowercase n? Like that, and then like that. And this is part of a mushroom. I have never seen anything like that. Overhead or on the ground. All right, you guys can find an O there, can't you? An O looks like a circle. Find the circle. Yep, it's right there, and it's part of a nest. P 
peeking, sneaking all around. Can you find a peek? This is a fiddlehead fern. There's our pea. Quietly, these letters lie. Q is a very tricky letter. If you can find the Q, you're a superstar. It's hard to see it. Kind of in there is like a, kind of like a Q. Ready for your roving eye. That to me looks like a lowercase r. It's part of a flower like that. Some are distant, some are near. Look for the S. An S is kind of a curvy, snaky thing. Look for it. Yep, it's part of a vine right there. S. Take your time and they'll appear. There's a T right there. What is that thing? It's the back of an orange barred carpet moth. Hmm. Undiscovered in a leaf. Here's a U. This leaf has kind of a cutout and it looks like a U right there. Whoop. Velvet soft beyond belief. Remember what was on the cover of this book? Do you remember which animal it was? That's right, it's a rabbit. And look between his ears. Looks like a V. Watch the woods. Who sees a W? Looks like it's part of a flower right there. Explore outside. I know you can find the X over there. An X is just two lines going crisscross. And those are wild rice plants crossing over each other. X. You'll discover where they hide. Do you see the Y there? What is that thing? Oh, it's part of ice on a pond. There's Y. We're not gonna find ice on a pond right now, are we? And our last letter is a Z. Zig and zagging, great and grand. Letters made by nature's hand. This again is part of some lichen. And look at that. There's our Z. And that is the end of Minnesota's Hidden Alphabet. And now that we've read that fun book, I have a challenge for you. Go outside and find as many letters as you can out in nature. You can be creative and use your imagination and you can have fun. And you might not find them all. It's really, really hard to find all those letters, but you can try. It's a good reason to get outside, have fun. Thanks for listening.